हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल यू आर वाचिंग संधु विच इज टी पॉइंट सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अवर द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स टॉक अवर द ओवरीज सो एज यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज ऑल द ओवरीज लेफ्ट एंड राइट साइड ओके एंड दिस लिगामेंट इज कॉल्ड ओवेरियन लिगामेंट Okay, at the other side, as you can see here, these are all the fallopian tubes, and there are four parts of the fallopian tubes, which we will discuss later on. And as you can see here, these are all the fimbria. This is the all. This is also the part of the fallopian tube. And as you can see here, this portion, this is the fundus of the uterus. This upper portion, this is the fundus of the uterus. This is the body of the uterus. Okay, and this is the hollow portion, which can be cancelled like it's a total uterus portion, uterine portion. And as you can see here, we can say like it's a cervix. Fix or the neck of the uterus, which connects the uterus and the vagina together. Okay, and as you can see here, this hollow portion is the vagina. So now let's talk in details about the female reproductive system. So let's start with the internal genital organs. The internal genital organs include uterus, fallopian tubes, vagina, and the ovaries. These organs are placed internally and require special instruments for inspections. Okay. So first of all, let's see the vagina. The vagina is a fibromuscular membrane sheath communicating the uterine cavity with the exterior, the vulva. It constitutes the excretory channel for the uterine secretions and menstrual blood. The canal is directed upwards and backwards, forming an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal in erect posture. The diameter of the canal is about 2.5 cm, being widest in the upper part and narrowest at the introitus. Okay. Now let's talk about the walls of the vagina. Vagina has got an interior and posterior and two lateral walls. The length of the anterior walls is about seven centimeters, and the posterior wall is about nine centimeters. Okay, now now let's see the vaginal fornix. Okay, now fornix, the fornix are the cleft formed at the top of the vagina wall. We can say like okay, due to the projection of the uterine cervix. Through the anterior vaginal wall, where it is blended with its wall, there are four uh, fornices: one anterior, one posterior, and two lateral. The posterior one being deeper, and the anterior most shallow one. Okay, now after that, let's move to the vaginal secretion. Okay, vaginal pH from puberty to menopause is acidic because of the present. presence of uh, diadolins bacteria diadolins bacillus which produces lactic acid from the glycogen present in the exfoliated cells okay ph varies with the estrogenic activity and ranges between 4 to 5 okay and after that let's see about the uterus okay how the uterus is okay now the uterus the uterus is a hollow uh, piriform muscular organ situated in the pelvis between the bladder in front and the rectum behind okay position what's the position of the uterus in the pelvic ca um, cavity let's see its normal position is one of the antiversion and anti flexion the uterus usually inclines to the right so that the cervix is directed to the left and comes in close relation with the left ureter Okay now let's see the measurements and the parts of the uterus the uterus measures about 8 cm long 5 cm wide at the um, fundus and walls are about 1.25 cm thick it weighs varies from uh, 50 to 80 grams okay and it has got the following parts like body or we can say like the corpus isthmus and cervix okay now first of all let's see the body of the uterus how does it look so i have just drawn a diagram here so it looks like this we are just talking about the body of the uterus only so i have just drawn only a body okay so first of all let's see the body is further divided into fundus this is the fundus portion okay the part which lies above the opening of the fallopian of the uterine tubes we can say like fallopian tubes also okay so the fallopian tubes will be started from each side okay both of the sides the fallopian tubes will be there so this upper portion is called fundus okay so this is the fundus the body prop 
proper is triangular and lies between the openings of the tubes and the isthmus okay so this upper portion is the fundus and this last portion is the isthmus which is uh, uh, further divided into internal and external os okay now now next moving to the isthmus isthmus is a constricted part measuring about 0.5 cm situated between the body and the cervix it's slightly above by the anatomical internal os okay so as you can see here in so as you can see here in this structure the anatomical internal os is here so just above this one the uh, isthmus will be present here okay so this is the isthmus and below by the histological internal os in other words isthmus is a part of the lower portion of the body of the uterus okay talking about the cervix and the cavity of the uterine body is triangular with the base above and the apex below it measures about 3.5 cm there is no cavity in the fundus now uh, let's see the structures it consists of body okay the wall consists of three layers parametrium myometrium and endometrium okay now it was all about the structure of the uterus only okay so three layers are there in a uterus parametrium myometrium and endometrium okay these are all the layers of the uterus only so okay now so first of all let's see about the parametrium what is parametrium it's the slit coat which invests the entire organ except on the lateral borders okay now moving to the myometrium it consists of thick bundles of smooth muscle fibers held by the con connective tissues and are arranged in various directions now what is endometrium the mucus lining of the cavity is called endometrium it consists of lamina precoria and surface epithelium the surface epithelium is a single layer of the of ciliated columnar epithelium the lamina uh, precoria contains stromal cells endometrial glands vessels and nerves the glands are simple valvular and lined by mucus secreting non ciliated columnar epithelium which penetrate the stroma and even enter the mucus coat the endometrium is changed to decidua during pregnancy okay so it helps as a decidua which helps in the uh, embryo development and also it helps to provide nourishment to the baby now moving to the fallopian tubes the uterine tubes or we can say like fallopian tubes are paired structures measuring about 10 cm lined from the inside with ciliated simple columnar epithelium leading from the ovaries into the uterus via the uterotubal junction enable the passage of egg cells from the ovaries to the uterus now i have drawn a diagram of uh, fallopian tube so uh, in this we will see the parts there are four parts of the fallopian tube interstitial or intramural isthmus ampulla and infundibulum okay so these are all the four parts of the fallopian tube now we so as you can see in this diagram this is the ovary this is the fimbrias this first part is called infundibulum which is having 1.25 cm of length and with about 6 mm okay now moving to the next part of the fallopian tube which is ampulla which is having 5 cm of length and with about 2 mm and after that isthmus 3 to 4 cm of length and width is about 1 mm and after that interstitial which connects the fallopian tube and uterus together is having length of 1.25 cm so it was all about the parts of the fallopian tube okay okay so i've just added one thing else here like the mesosalphinx is the part of the lining of the abdominal cavity specifically the portion of the broad ligament that stretches from the ovary to the level of the fallopian tube okay so just here we can see like it's a mesosalphinx portion so now let's see the functions of the fallopian tubes transport of the gametes female gametes okay that is over to facilitate fertilization and survival of the zygote through its secretion okay so these are all the uh, special functions of the fallopian tube actually okay so now after that moving to the ovary the ovaries are paired sex glands or gonads we can see like in the females which are concerned for 
जम्प सेल मेचुरेशन स्टोरीज एंड इट्स रिलीज एंड ऑफ कॉल्स कार्डोजेनेसिस ओके सो ईच ग्लैंड इज ओवल इन शेप एंड पिंकिश ग्रीन कलर इट मेजर्स अबाउट थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स इन लेंथ टू सेंटीमीटर्स इन वेथ एंड वन सेंटीमीटर्स इन थिकनेस द ओवरीज आर इन ट्रू पैरिटोनियल स्ट्रक्चर्स In Nelly Pera, the ovary lies in the ovarian fo uh, fossa on the lateral pelvic wall. The ovary is attached to the posterior layer of the broad ligament via the meso ovarian. Okay, to the lateral pelvic wall via the infundibulo pelvic ligament and to the uterus via the ovarian ligament. Okay. Okay, so it was all about the internal genital organs of the female reproductive system. Okay, so that's for today. I hope you would have understand what this topic. So, if you find this video really helpful to you all to understand what this female internal reproductive system, so uh, hit like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I will see you in the next one with a new topic. Till then, goodbye.